here when as soon as I get it. Are we rolling? Yeah, yeah cool. Rolling. Hi, this is MC Rude Boy. I'm here with the man himself backstage, actually, I should say, on the rooftop. Uh, Nick Sentience, how you doing, mate? Good, thank you, man. Good to be here. Absolutely wicked set down there. Crowd was going off. In your own words, how would you describe your sound that you're playing tonight? Well, there was a lot of new stuff. Um, uh, a lot of new stuff from the album that I've got coming out. Uh, it's coming out in a couple of months. Uh, it's got a working title of Universal Language at the moment, and it's going to be an uh, audio CD and DVD double pack. So uh, there was a lot of new material off that. So I've been trying to get the sound you know, a lot more creative and you know, lo lots of varied sort of sounds in there at the moment to make the album varied and different you know so there was a lot of that there was a lot of material from the new label i got quality tracks okay that's uh all coming and there was you know some harder stuff by glasby and and things like that so just you know um, there's a lot of bk stuff james lawson and all the new tracks are done with those guys as well so uh it's you know mainly kind of us guys who hang out in the studio and yeah do our tunes because uh you were just saying a minute ago you've been doing some remixing are you doing it with the same guys or uh, are you actually, is there anyone you know commercial that you're looking at is there a madonna a tori amos no, uh, anyone like that I not really those guys that's no, not quite my oh, no, i'm just, but, just checking you never uh, know uh, well there is a faithless one okay. that i've just done that's um awesome. that's going to be <clears throat> on test pressing in a couple of weeks so um that's we've got a, an exclusive guys yeah it's a remix of we come one yeah and uh yeah that's uh, just about finished so uh, I played that in there tonight, it seems to go down pretty well. So yeah, that's, that's uh, one of the commercial ones I've done, but I'm also remixing um, Glasby's Hostile, yeah. which is a much more hard as nails type one, so you know, lots of different stuff. Um, I know a lot of uh, producers uh, slash DJs don't like to talk about this, but what kind of equipment or uh, you know, software and hardware are you using in your studio? I don't, I don't mind talking about it, you know, I use Logic and I use Reason, Recycle, Anything I can get my hands on, really. You know, lots of different plugins, but it's it's, it's all software at the moment because I'm running a G4 laptop. Oh, beautiful. So it's all I've got my studio out nice. with me. I've got a studio booked in Melbourne for this week, so I'll be um, doing some tracks out there. Uh, any Australian artists that you'll be hooking up with? Um, well, a uh, friend of mine, Murray Van Zaff in Melbourne, owns that studio, and there's yeah. a good friend of mine, Kelster, out there. She'll be kind of hanging out with us, and so you know, maybe some stuff will happen. But I'm actually kind of mixing the album down. I'm going, to, I'm going to ask Murray if I can kind of stay late at night when he's finished work and um, uh, polish up all the mixes and stuff on his big sound system. So, uh, yeah, trying to finish off the album this week. So yeah. I should have kind of, you know, promo copies ready in a few weeks' time, really. Excellent. So that's all cool. Uh, also, uh, a couple of guys have been chatting with uh, uh, Ener like Kevin Energy and Gladsby. We were yep. talking about their latest toys they've been mucking around with. Uh, yeah. The virus seems to be the big toy at the moment. What's your latest um, bit of equipment that you've been using? As I say, it's a, a lot of software using at the moment. Um, there's a couple of plugins called the Atmosphere, and yeah, there's lots, lots of different things you can download off the net. And I don't buy kind of outboard equipment anymore, really, because it's just too big and heavy. And I hate wires, and I hate dust, and all that. I, I like it all to be neat and tidy. I've got a minimal studio, so. So no, no live PA's from you then? Yeah, no, that'll be coming. As soon as I start to launch the album and yeah. stuff like that, then I'll be taking it live. So hopefully, you know. Um, I've also got a friend of mine who's a VJ, okay. uh, so we'll be kind of doing some stuff. Yeah, year, uh, you played at a, a party called uh, Strawberry Field. Um, yeah. the, the strange phenomena here is the set that you were playing, a lot of the DJs have been um, playing the same kind of tunes the next couple of years. How do you feel about coming to Adelaide? I noticed you are playing a lot of, a um, oh, bit of action over there. Uh, you're playing a lot of CDs. Is that because um, like it's not on vinyl yet, or is it because yeah. you, yeah, you mean, like to travel light? Well, I'm not travelling light. I've got uh -huh. two record bags, but um, I mean, I, ke I keep everything I can with me. You know, you never know what you're going to pull out. I mean, yeah. I played like um, R.R. Fierce, Rock the Spot tonight, which I've only ever played once before, but um, just thought I'll stick that in. So, you know, I, I always have my library of, of things, but most of the stuff that I play off CD actually isn't on vinyl. I mean, um, actually uh, recorded a couple of things down in the hotel just before I came out, you know, so that, that that's what I'm doing at the moment is, okay, is literally like record something down and an hour later I'm yeah. in the club playing it and you can't do that on vinyl so also where have you been touring like where else are you off to well I mean I'm staying in Melbourne this week and then I'm playing uh, Melbourne and Sydney next weekend yeah. then uh, back to the UK to finish the album off and um, anything big happening over there any big parties or just more more getting the studio and just 
head well, down. I think all uh, the festivals are kind of going on over there at the moment, so um, it's not really something I'm looking at this year. But um, next year when I'm doing kind of promoting the album with the live PAs and stuff, then I'm sure the festivals will be on the cards. But I'm going out to Japan and stuff like that. I'm back out here in November. So, um, yeah, lots of studio time and, you know, hanging out with Phil and James and BK and everyone and doing all that stuff. So, all busy. It's good. Okay. And just finally, um, the, the name of your album again that's coming out, or is that still...? Well, it's a working title, but Universal Language, which yeah. goes with the, the kind of story of the DVD, which um, all will be revealed when it comes out. So, Stay tuned for the DVD to come out very soon.